Hey everyone, and welcome back to Community Builds. I have four creations this week, and yeah, I don't know what to say for the intro, so I'm just going to get right into it. I spend too much time on the intro. If anyone knows what I should do for intros on this, let me know. Or if someone wants to like make something for the intro, like, ooh, this in a second. I've been really good with this car, but I'll get to this in a second. I might work on it myself, but if someone could make some kind of like animated moving sign, kind of like a uh, kinetic sculpture that says like community builds on it or something, and then put like your username in the corner or something right, so you can just read it. And then every episode, so like, yeah, every episode, when I open up, that'll be in the background. It'll be in the background of the reminder, and then eventually I can do a thing where like every 10, 20 episodes we get a new background thingy. I don't know, just an idea, but either way, this is a muscle car by Dusty Rep, and they were kind of teasing me with it. It's a muscle car with really long travel suspension. It drives horribly, but they made it as they could. Most of my vehicles drive horribly too. I build them just because I enjoy it. Ah! It break dances. <laughs> okay. So. Um. Oops. But no, I don't know if many people know this, but I was doing. Uh. Hat. So computer assisted design. Before I got into scrap account. I only could do SketchUp because I drew everything line by line, made all the polygons and stuff myself. But I was making like trophy trucks and stuff in that before this. And then this came out and was like, oh, I can actually drive my stuff. Here we go. So like this, just build what makes you happy. Don't worry about how it handles as long as you enjoy it. And then make it handle better, I guess, from there. But either way, this has two ah I beam. <laughs> it has I beam in the front and a two it's like a three link in the back. Yeah. An interesting looking three link. That is really weird. This hey, slab. I've never seen it done like that before, but okay. Let's see how that works. That's really interesting. How much? Let's try not to flip it this time and just try and lift it back. Oh my god. Are there no springs on the back? Is, there's no rear suspension. Oh, my game's just glitching. Okay. Why must you do this game? That's my favorite piston to use, too. Like, if that piston isn't working for me, I'm going to be so disappointed. Yeah, it's broken. I'm disappointed. But, maybe this will make things better. Head sticks through here. Yeah, simple car. Just focus on long travel. Oh, like a long travel muscle car, I guess. And really, it doesn't handle that bad. I'm just... Yeah. One slight issue is... Right there. So I'm just gonna... I know it doesn't look right, but... I'm just gonna open up the fenders for a second. Because the wheels can't in scrap turn the way they're supposed to. So, now that when it compresses, the wheels won't be forced straight. This actually handles pretty well. It's way too front heavy. Like, the back end just wants to come up whenever it can. It's, other than that... Oh! 
And the front end breaks. <laughs> it's one of the big issues with with doing a beam and scrap is it can just fall out from underneath you. Yeah, this is good. I actually really like this. And handling wise, it's not that bad. A bit of a handful, but it's because the back just wants to keep going up. I'm going to try and remove some of your counterweight, hopefully not anything fall off. See the front rise up a little bit. Take out that little bottom bit of counterweight, add it on the back, on the back, on the front of the back bumper, and I think that there would already help it a lot. But for now, it's just gonna fly away again. <laughs> Come back. I really like that. That's actually a lot of fun. Now, we are moving on to an IMC Carencia. I've never heard of this before. Made by is 5 fo typical station wagon produced by is 5 fo Motor Company, model currency. Okay, so that's why. It's your own custom thing, I take it. It's a naturally aspirated four-cylinder uh, gas-powered engine. Front wheel drive, double wishbone, rear torsion. Really? Interesting. I haven't seen rear torsion done in this like really properly yet, so I think there uh, is by folk can do it right. Just need a drink really quick. It has a manual, yeah, it has manual turn signals and 18 inch alloys. Coming up with an RS version, that'd be cool. If you could slope this a tiny bit more, a little bit shorter, and like my focus. <laughs> This looks really good already. I don't know. I'm just checking what opens and doesn't so I know where to look. Okay, so I gotta look under and it says. <laughs> that looks really good. Exhaust there that actually looks like it's hanging. That's one detail I always mean to put in and always forget, and I notice no one else really does it either, is there are exhaust uh, pipe pieces with hangers. So it actually looks like it's mounted to the vehicle. Oh, you've even, ha! Huh, you've even using the, uh, that one new mod to use flanges. Oh my god. Looks like you could even just unbolt the exhaust and take it out. I love how mods are getting. This is so cool. So there's the, uh, double wishbone front. Interesting look. That's cool. I'm just, I'm, by interesting look, I mean the, the, uh, the upper link. Because most people would just use, like, even I would just use a bar and then some plates to make it work. But you made it look good and how it should. Like, even the lower one looks proper. I just, I can't get over the exhaust. Looks like there's a line or something up there. I think someone challenged me to build something with like a full fuel system and whatnot. This thing that's the horn, battery, and yeah, the torsion bar. I'm really interested on how this is going to work. Because uh, scrap doesn't usually like torsion. Yeah, you're using the new uh, coils and suspension, jocks. Just to see why that's like. Okay, because it's mounted there and it hits the body. So, what people usually do, but backwards. This is really cool. Check out the interior. It's Fisco! <laughs> it's probably a texture glitch. Excuse me. Well, I know it's a texture glitch. My game is messed up. I think my hard drives are starting to, uh, get to the point where they're just corrupting everything, but I know t is having the texture glitch I am, so I'm not sure. Um, 
But yeah, it's a really good looking interior. The uh, start button. Ooh, that looks cool. You go without that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got a caster too. I didn't notice that. Any camber? Oh, it's got caster and camber. At least it looks like it does. If it does, that's exciting. That makes me happy. It looks like it's got caster and camber. <laughs> that makes me so excited in this. I'm just trying to see how you would have got the camber on it. So it looks like the hub is tilted in on top, but I can't see anything that would pull it in. So, I don't know. Anyways, let's see how this handles. I'm really interested on that uh, rear suspension. That works really well. Whoa. How does this handle so well? This is amazing. I don't think I've driven anything else in this game that has handled so well. And I like, I mean that, that's insane. It's going like a proper speed that I would be happy with cruising at if I was trying to get yeah and it's only front wheel drive it is great but it's even going a speed that I would be happy with going from like I don't know for example the workshop to my house in survival and it looks so good oh my god <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up for a moment for this one and just drive it back. And yeah, because like I'm just amazed with this right now. Oh, oh, oh. Your turn signals make the clicky noise and everything. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. I really got to step my game up. Because this is incredible. I love my front wheel drive hatchbacks. Like, if you could... I don't care if nothing opens, but if you could make a 13 Focus ST like this, even if it has the torsion bar in the rear, be incredible. That would be so incredible. But yeah, this just looks so. It's even got a little uh, entertainment on the back of the seats. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing over this and move on. I just I can't get over the detail on how well it handles. It's the handling that just has me amazed. No, stop it. <laughs> There's just something you did that makes it handle so good. I don't know what it is. It's probably a mix between it being front wheel drive and maybe the modded wheels, but even then, vehicles usually don't handle that well. Next is Lots of Wheels Car 2 by Mr. T. Um, the description's not working here. But you said you took my advice. I can't quite remember what my advice was. Okay. Ah, okay. I think my advice would have been tank steering. Yep. What? I've never seen it done like that before. That's actually really cool. Really? Because things on the end of springs, if they spin really fast, they... I want to say go out of phase, but that's not the right term. They lag behind. But 
when I go again, attention to the to the white bolts. You can see they lag behind spring. And therefore they're setting off the uh, the sensor and telling it to go forwards. You then use a gate to make it stop. Wow. It takes up a lot of space, but that works really well. I've never seen it done like that. It's a nice mix of old school and new school. And it makes it handle so much better. I, yeah, I'm actually enjoying driving this a lot more than the other one. It's way more predictable. It handles how it should. I'd like to see what you come up with with a tank. Like, if you were to make a tank, I think it would turn out really cool. And I don't mean, like, recreate one that was already made, because I have an M1A2. I have an M1A2 that uses proper tank steering. As you can see by one bearing. And there's no spring pitch. It's, as I said, but that's not the right seat. That is. So as you can see, there's... Ah, uh, can't really see around it. I used to be able to get down inside it. But you can see there's no steering coming from that seat. It's all going to there, which is logic going to the wheels. And it just handles so much better than if you use the spring glitch. But what I did for logic, or what I did with logic, you did with just spinny things, tiny spinny things, and then two gates to shut it off. And I'm impressed. I'm surprised. Now, if you were to make a tank, Turn. It likes to break. But I think if you made a tank, it'd be a lot of fun. Then we can battle. <laughs> Change the blocks to cardboards and battle each other. No. Instead of cop creating one that's a copy like that, I think if you made your own custom tank, that would be really cool. That'd be really cool. It's just, it would use... A lot of bearings set up like this. But then again, you could put some kind of platform on it that just goes over the seat. Bring the seat down one. Yeah, you could even turn this into a tank. That'd be pretty cool. I'm sorry I haven't spent much time on it, but that is really cool. Never seen anything done like that. But for now, I will be excited for what you send in next time. Like I said, I'd love to see you do a tank. That'd just be cool. Oh, that's really hard to read. Okay, so we have another Cessna. This one's by Dirt Paw. I can't remember who this one was. Yes. Uh, no. This one by. By the same person. Here's my hard drive's not working. I can hear my hard drive needle moving. Jesus, okay. So, Dirt Pod 13. It's a 1 1 scale Cessna. So, like the, the Super Cessna we saw before. Uh, and to be realistic, working nav lights, brakes. Oh, cool. Up, down, yaw. Let's hope I can get this to work. Yeah. Oh no! Really? Is there something I'm missing? Hold on a second. Go and yeah. No, I've got all the mods that are listed, so... 
I don't know. Failed to build shape. There must be a mod missing. So, I zoom in. And you see something missing. But I can't personally see anything that looks like spot something that would be missing. Take the wings off and it looks like a submarine. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. That sucks. I was excited for that one. But yeah, I guess that's the end of this week's then. Um I'm going to spawn everything. Let's do this way. As I said in the beginning, I'd love like some kind of netic sculpture community build sign that I can show stuff off in front. I just I think it would make it that much cooler and more special. But for now, that is this week's community builds. As I said with the uh, muscle car, take that little bit of um yeah, that little bit of weight out of the front, put it in the back. I think it'll help a lot. One in the middle, I'm just amazed with. There goes my keyboard. <laughs> I don't know how it handles so well. It just does. And then, Mr. T, I'd love to see you build a tank. Even if you turn that into a tank, that'd be so cool to see. I just, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.